While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. I'm a young, young man. Young man. Why was Christ's eyes red? Okay, we're gonna, I'm, I'm for all of you all, because that's who the Bible's for. Read. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with blood. His eyes were red because he drunk wine in moderation. He didn't drink to get drunk, but he's allowed to drink. Drink makes you marry, but you don't drink to get drunk. So when we sip on a little wine, what colors does the white of our eyes turn? So, because of him drinking wine, the whites of his eyes turn with color. Red. Go ahead, back to 14. Verse 14. Why his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank wine. So first, he got woolly white hair like yours, and his eyes were red. They wasn't blue. They wasn't brown. They wasn't green. And strike two against this stuff. Read. Verse 15. And his feet like up to fine bread. What color is bread? Young man, what color is bread? Brown. It's like a penny. But if I take white rice and burn it in the furnace, what color would it turn? If I burn bread in the toaster, what color would it turn? Black. So something already brown in color. We eat as if they burn in the furnace. So if I burn anything in the furnace, let alone the toaster, what color would it turn? Black. That's what color is Christ? Black! Yeah. What did you just say? He's black. Strike these three against this. Is he black? Is he black? So, my question to you, 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 and you. What color does our Lord and Savior look like? He looked black. But, we celebrate Christmas, right? You may not know, but I'm pretty sure you got family members. Hold up. We don't do that. Fuck Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because you didn't know about it. Guess what? No, listen, okay, if you, 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 you yeah, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this, can I ask you this? What if celebration was jumping off the bridge, would you teach your kids that? If you jumped off the bridge for fun, would you teach your kids that? Because it's death, teaching them about Christmas is death. You just don't know it. It's time to wake up, bro, you should be on this side with us, teaching your kids and the rest of your family. It's time to quit. We sold, most of us out here sold drugs to get money. That's what you're going to teach your kids? It was fun. We did it to take care of our kids, so we say. Right. It's time. We got nothing to do with that. It has a lot to do with who we are. We what you got, never teach our This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. No. Watch this. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaking unto you. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get an understanding here. Christmas is right now, right? Now, your whole life, you knew about Christmas. What if I told you Christmas was a wicked holiday back in ancient times that we wasn't supposed to celebrate and the white man got a hold of it now and gave it to you and said it was his birthday? All of them is. Yeah, guess what? Christmas, what's that? Halloween, Thanksgiving, all of them. Guess what? You know, by your... also loved the world that he gave uh -oh. us only because uh, of What does that mean? Get that. We're going to come back. Let me tell you something. No, 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 no. We're going to... No, no. What you don't understand. Who's the world? Who's the world? Who's the world? We are. All right, what did verse 14 say? You wrote, ver uh, what did 15 or 14 say? You, wrote, you read 16. You quoted it because that's what the white man teaches us. What did 14 or 15 say? Yes, he did. Because you don't know 14. Because all on the billboards is 316. Read that. This is the book of John, chapter 3 and verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Now, the, and what did Moses do? He lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Read, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Two things. Who did Moses lift the serpent up? And so must the same as the Son of Man must be lifted up. Answer that. You know 316. But two verses above that, what does 14 mean? What does that mean? You're right about that, but that's not what that verse says. Read 14 again. Watch Verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. I'll explain it to you. Whoever Moses lifted up the serpent to, 
That's the same way Christ and the same people that Christ must be lifted up to. Give me right. Numbers 21 and 6 so no. we can get a better understanding. Read that. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verse 6. And the Lord said, fiery serpents among the people. Now this is that serpent that Moses lifted up in the wilderness. Let's see who he lifted, he lifted up to read. And they bent the people, and much people of Israel died. Who? Much people of who? And much people of Israel died. Who was he talking to? Only Israel. Right. So the same way the serpent was lifted up for the children of Israel, so must Christ be lifted up to. That's right. Which are the children of Israel? Who are the children of Israel? He want to know. I don't want to know. All right, finish reading that out. Watch this. Verse 7. Therefore, the people came to Rome and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord. And guess what? That's what we're doing now. We're speaking against the Lord. Anytime we don't follow his commandments, we speak against the Lord. Because guess what? You got to teach your children something. And you just can't teach them that you're a man. You got to teach them who they are, where they come from, how they start. And where does it end for yeah. them? Right. Read. And against thee, where's the Lord? Now yeah. drop that. Go back to John 3, 16. This is the book of John, chapter 3, and verse 16. Now, hold on, hold on, stop. Sir, did you hear what he just said? He, he said, John 3, 16, right? Two verses up. I read it. He can't explain that. Let's but we're going to go through John 3, 16. Well, Don't know. go nowhere, man. The Bible's for you, man. Not Christianity. Come on, he man. He gave his only begotten Read. son. For God yeah. so Who? loved the world. Believe that he Who is that whosoever? He said whosoever. Whosoever, sir. He, he don't want it. You know what? Place. He's dancing. He just say the, Who's the whosoever? People, the white people. Sorry. The Who does Chinese whosoever mean? Whosoever. Everybody. That's what, that's that what they taught him. Give me a turn. Listen. We're going to find out everybody. one thing about the Bible. This is your book. It was written by you to you and for you. Yes. And the only way you understand it according, according to Psalms 111 and 10 is if you apply the commandment. Right. Read. This is the book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse 21. Yeah. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call it the name of the Lord. Whosoever, that, right? Whosoever, that's the word. Watch, watch. That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Read. Ye men of Israel. Say that again. Ye men of Israel. Yeah, whosoever is you Israelite. What you are, but you don't know. Who's the whosoever now, sir? Read it again for me. Ye men of not Israel. Israel. They're not Israel. They're fakes. Revelations 2 and 9 tells you they're fake. The Israelites will be in the ghetto. Read that again. This is the book of Acts. Acts. Read the Testament. Chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Stop. That's where they stop at. They say whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord is saved. Read the next verse. Ye men of Israel. Hear these words. Israel, start to listen to the Bible. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans living in the ghetto. So who's Israel? Us. Uh, hold on, let me finish this. I'll get to you. We now go back to uh, John 3, 16. We're going to give you every precept so you understand. We start at the top. This is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so, ho, 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 ho. For God. Who is he the God of? Who is he the God of? Give me Joel 2 and 27. You're going to find out that he's the God of Israel. He sent his son back to Israel. But Israel wouldn't know who they are right now. Like you did. That one time I did. But that's why we got to listen and find out who we are so we can teach their children that he is a king and a priest on this earth. He's the daughter of Sarah. Right. You got that? This is the book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Excuse me. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. He's in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. What did he just say? I am the God of Israel and none else. That's the whosoever. Israel, that's who Christ is coming back for. Israel, because you're the only ones that don't know who you are. That's right. Now go back to John 3, 16. This is the book. Start at the top. This is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God, for God, read. So love, who did he love? He only loved Israel. That's right. Read. The world that he gave his only begotten son. What is world? It's 
real world, the world that he's talking about. The world is a give me your eight. I'm saying what the Bible said. I'm not saying my word. When you said whosoever, who did it say? Israel. He's, what you don't understand is he loves the world of Israel. Why? Give me John 18 and 20. This is the book of John, chapter 18. Hey, sir, move a little closer. Come over here. Come over here. Fit in here. You can bring your chair over, man. This is for you. Watch this. Now we're going to find out who the world is. Read. This is the book of John, chapter 18, verse 20. Jesus answered him. Now who, who's speaking? Jesus answered him. I spake openly to the world. He what? Now this is your answer. He spoke openly to the world. Read. I ever, Listen. I ever taught in the synagogue. Who's in the synagogue? The synagogue is your children of Israel. Read. And in the temple. Whether the Jews are in the sword. The world, start at the top so they understand that the world is where the Jews reside. Read. Jesus answered him. I spoke openly to the world. Here's the answer to the world. Jesus said, I spoke openly to the world. Read. I ever taught in the synagogue. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple. Whether the Jews always resort. So the only ones that resided in the temple and the synagogue was the Jews. That's the world, the world of Israel. He told you in Joel chapter 2 verse 27, I'm the God of Israel and none else. Why when we get to the New Testament, now he's the God of everybody. No, all those other nations was put on this earth to serve you. That's but because right. you broke your God, your God's laws, you serve everybody next to you. By your own admission, you said we're still in slavery. That's the reason why. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.